Chris. Chris is also a returning competitor. All of the guys here today are in this heat are all returning competitors. So they've been here before, done it before, so they're part of the, the Spurto family. And that's kind of what happens at this competition. Once you're part of it, you don't really ever want to leave. And we don't like them, do we? Um, okay, what are we chopping up here? This looks like ginger. Ginger. So Chris likes ginger. Yeah. Beautiful. And um, what, what's that? Is that going, what's your speciality? Talk me through Oh, fabulous. I mean, with uh, oat cream. Ginger old base. Wow, okay, so you're going for almost like a kind of cheesecakey vibe with yes. the base. Yeah, pretty right, much. okay, fabulous. And um, lemons, uh -huh. and then your cream is made from oats. Yes. And then there's oat in the crumble at the bottom as well. Yeah. So you're incorporating it. That's fantastic. Wow. Now, uh, your traditional. What's your method? Are you prepared to give away your methods or not? I know there's people who say, I only stir it 12. 12 times in one direction, 48 times in another direction, like... 92 degrees, you've heard it here. you heard it here, guys. Right, okay, so that's your... Science. Right, okay, but you've said, you've said it now, so it's science, that's... that's you've got a thermometer now that you genuinely are eating, it's nice to... Right, okay. Well, we shall see how that pans out for you. That ginger smells a bit, but I'm gonna leave you to it, thank you, Chris. We've got a pro here. This is all very master chef. Look at you. Oh my goodness. So you think this is the key thing?
So in the final for the 31st World Porridge Championships to win this, the Golden Spurtle, Adam Kiani. Chris, Chris Ormiston. Margaret Leach. Jacob Seuss. Lisa Williams. And Billy Fox. So congratulations. It's not quite over yet, guys. <laughs> so you gotta cook again. This is what we're here for. It's the grand final. We've got some familiar faces here. It's gonna be quite the match, I think. So guys, you have 30 minutes to make the best bowl of, bowl of porridge you've ever made. Five, four, three, two, one. Start your burners. So this is, yeah, this is an exciting one. There's a tension in the room. That's just what I was going to say. There's a hush has descended. This matters a great deal. You're still smiling, Chris. You're still smiling. <laughs> Excellent. What's your top secret? What are you going to do? 92 degrees. <laughs> 92 degrees. You got the probe still? Where's the probe? You got the probe. Excellent. So we're going to do this. You've got some quite fancy looking salt here. Himalayan pink salt, nice. And you are using Hamlin's, obviously, good for you. You got the memo. Pinhead and, Pinhead and oatmeal, so you've got your own kind of blend. 50 50. Okay, you're giving away all your secrets. We could create a bit of drama here by refusing to tell anybody. <laughs> no, it's not. It's all about winning. Great, excellent. Well, I will leave you there with that sterling spurtle work. Tracy and Louise are here from Hamlin's. Thank you. Yeah. So Hamlin's is um, a Banffshire, Aberdeenshire based organisation. All your oats are grown in Scotland, I'm right? Yeah, all your oats are grown in Scotland. Mills in Scotland in Boindy, Banffshire. Um, you will find it in lots of supermarket shelves. Seek it out. It's in new, beautiful paper packaging, which you'll have seen throughout the day. Um, it's a fantastic product and we're incredibly grateful to them uh, for sponsoring this event and they're, they're as much part of it as any of the rest of the volunteers or anything and we, we really appreciate their help. And loads of the competitors, as you know, that's what they use. That's the product that they use because they think it's the best product for the job. So I use Hamlin's as well in my Scurly and in lots of my recipes actually. You'll find lots of my recipes in fact in uh, Sarah Rankin's cookbook. <laughs> Which there might be a few left, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, well, maybe there's none left and you've cleared me out, which would be lovely. How are we doing, guys? No? You are the only person I've ever seen who makes porridge with a temperature probe. Yeah. 92 degrees. The starch separate at night. Gelatinization, it's called. There we go. Every day is a school day. Gelatinization happens at 92 degrees. So anything higher or lower, it ends up watery. Right. Well, if he says so. He's wow. here. Well, you've done it. Well, you've done it. You've gotten to the final, so clearly it's worked. Lisa's going in. The Queen of Porridge. Chris is going in, the temperature guy.
And that's it. The last ball away to the judges from the 31st Annual World Cup Championships. Well done, Jakob. So it is in the hands of our judges now. But a massive hand for all our competitors. Well done. Well done, finalists. It's all very tense. And the winner of the speciality is Kim McGee. We've got Tracy from Hamlin's, our sponsor since the beginning so for the last 31 years. Tracy's going to uh, hand out this prize to the winner of the Golden Spurtle, the 31st World Pottage Champion, is Chris Ormiston. <laughs> Congratulations! Well done, well done. See, it's uh, 92 degrees. This is yours. You're welcome. Well done, Chris. Congratulations. Um, so many people to thank. I, I hope we have thanked everyone that we need to thank already. But once again, the incredible volunteers who do so much. Also, um, also, I'd like to specially thank Mr. Martin O'Reilly for keeping everyone well oiled all day long. I had my first round at 9.30 this morning, and that's obviously the way we should be doing it. Our incredible judges. Our chieftain, Mr. Alan Rankin. Our honorary chieftain, Mr. Charlie Miller. And finally, to all of these guys. Well done, everybody. Well done. So the only thing left to say is, date in your diary for next year, 4th of October, 2025. We'll see you back here. Hopefully, we'll see lots of these guys too. We'd love, but anyone else, remember, it's this much fun. It's this much fun. You guys put your names down. We'd love to see you. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting this wonderful community event. See you next year.